Squirrel poaching is the third leading cause of squirrel death. This is a story about the men who poach these squirrels and the law that is trying to stop it. This is a true story. Well, uh, another day at uh, Jackson Squirrel Sanctuary. Yeah, these squirrels are my fine, cute, and cuddly. Yeah, well, we uh, do our best to protect them. I just love these squirrels. I'll do anything to protect them with my heart. They're just so precious. Yep. Gotta watch out for the poachers. Yeah, those evil men, they just try to hurt little squirrelies out here. It's just, it's heartbreaking. What a shame. It is a shame. Uh, yeah, I've been taking bribes from poachers for well, about seven years now. Uh, you know, I get some extra cash, they get their squirrels. It's, it's a pretty good deal to me. I've, uh, I've been poaching squirrels here in the squirrel sanctuary for uh, about six or seven years now. I've uh, got a good man on the inside, Ranger Paul. We, uh, we have a profitable business together. Our, uh, our endeavors are always worthwhile, and he's a good guy. His, uh, his partner, though, Denim Dan. The guy's a bit of a gigaloo. Hello, my name is Ranger Dan. People refer to me as Denim Dan. And this right here is my little squirrely friend, Simon. Now, Simon here, he's a special part of my life. Whenever he's happy, I'm happy. If he's sad, I'm sad. But I protect Simon and his friends from evil poachers. Now, these poachers have been coming around and hurting Simon's friends and skinning them and taking everything they got, like their families and all their little acorns and stuff. It, it hurts me. To make an honest living. Just you wait, young strong up the magic, you're gonna be banned the bar for good for sure. I'm not for a little squirrely. Can't wait. Get out of here. Can't deal with those guys. You know, I want that poacher out of them trees now. He's hunting them squirrels. I don't like it. Yeah, I. We're going to figure it out. Well, if you don't get into anything about me bringing that dang flabbing natural, national guard to take right, them out. All right, listen, we don't want to get the guard involved. Okay? I want the guard involved. We, we can fix this, all right? No, Just... there's no fixing. The national guard can fix it. Calm down, Denim. All right, I'm going to mix you up some 2% chocolate and milk. Just get back in the cabin, and we'll think of a plan. That sounds my fine. <laughs> that, that was close. That was too close. Um... You know, I'm going to meet up with the poacher in about an hour. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to make some adjustments. So, because Dan is, he's freaking out. You know, he's trying, he's talking about calling in the National Guard. And if that happens, it's over. You know, I'm starting to question my young trainee, Paul. You see, he didn't want me to call in the guard. Uh, he, he doesn't look like he wants to protect these squirrelies now. He knows how much I love these squirrelies and that... I don't know where he is. I'm supposed to get my chocolate milk, my two percent chocolate milk. Pull, pull, where's my milk? Pull, <laughs> bring me a toast of strudel too. Make sure it's strawberry now. I don't like that blueberry kind now, boy. Hey, hey, why are we gonna meet all the way out here instead of? Back to the shelter, like always. Oh, Dan can't get his old bones out here these days. And hey, I told you not to poach on Tuesdays. That's when the patrol is. There were squirrels there, and I was going to take them. Hey, if you want my help, then you got to play by my rules. I'm just doing what I need to do to support my family, man. Well, and yeah, and <laughs> if it wasn't for me, supporting your family would land you in jail. All right. No more poaching on Tuesdays. I'll be more careful next time. Yeah, it's all right. Just try to keep Dan at bay. Yeah, that uh, that old gear is starting to get suspicious, but I think a bit of chocolate milk will ease his mind. All right, good deal. Paul tells me that I need to be a little bit more careful 
about when I'm doing my coaching, whenever I'm getting my squirrels, whenever I'm making my game. But uh, I guess Denim Dan's been a little more suspicious lately than usual, which is no big deal. He's been suspicious for a long time now, but we got to be careful, he says, but I have big plans for today. Today is actually the first day of the annual squirrel migration where they follow the Pacific trade winds to Albania. I'm hoping to make a, have a big prize game. But uh, my main goal is to take out Denim Dan's prized possession, Simon, his pet squirrel. So I'm going to see if I can bag Simon, a few of the other immigrating squirrels along the way, and uh, make a good profit. Good. 